So there's several things that I don't really like about the bullet journaling community. And I just want to explain a bit more about those in this video. If you don't know what bullet journaling is, it's the idea of kind of using a, like a shorthand system, like a kind of code to journal. And it's supposed to save you time, but it actually ends up not saving you time in my opinion. And uh, so this is why I don't like bullet journaling. So the first reason is that although it's supposed to simplify things, I feel like it can kind of make things more complicated because instead of just writing down how you feel or what you did that day, you have to actually use this kind of code. So for example, like a, a line, a slash or a line might mean that you exercised and then certain numbers might mean that you did certain tasks and then you have to refer back to a key, you know, like an analysis at the front of the journal that explains what these different symbols mean. And if you're new to it, obviously you're gonna not remember any of the symbols or numbers. So you're gonna constantly be having to flick back and forth between the actual page of the journal and the key in order to even read it. And in my opinion, that does not save time. And I tried this for you know a while. I tried this for maybe a month or so, and it just ended up being like much more time consuming than it was to just type in a journal like normal. And then in a journal, like a normal one, you can just write down things like, you know, I exercise this many times. If something is obvious or you need to write it down, you can write it down instead of having to rely on this code that you're probably going to forget every time. And you're going to constantly have, be having to keep referring back and forth. So the other thing that I don't really like about kind of the community is that it tends to exclude others. And there's this kind of sense of entitlement and not everyone, but just from what I've seen, you know, there's a sense of entitlement and people feel like my way is the best way and that any other way is like, is silly, you know, or it's like not worth talking about. In my opinion, there's several different ways you could journal, um, but journaling happens to be one of them. Uh, in my opinion, it's not even the best way. Uh, I would say probably the best way is just good old fashioned journal. Just write down what you do in a certain day, make your own code if you need to, you know, if you need to record something like which days you exercise, you could just put an E or just whatever would make sense for you. The idea of needing to use some other system, it's kind of a bit limiting in my opinion, but just because of that, it feels like the community can kind of exclude people that don't go along with what they think is the right way to journal. And like I said, there's probably better ways of journaling. I mean, bullet journaling is just one of them. So experiment, find one that's best for you. I know it's trending and it got a lot of attention, I think mainly because of a couple of Kickstarters that did really well for some specific bullet journals, but there's other ways of journaling. You know, don't, you don't have to use that one is what I'm saying. Like I said, it can be pretty time consuming, especially if you're new, because you have to not only draw up the different keys and stuff. I mean, if you enjoy doing that stuff, then fine. It's like an arts and crafts project, I guess. But you have to draw up the different keys what they mean, color in the different boxes, set the journal up. I mean, that, that process alone can take a day or two <laughs> just to get ready to journal. And then when you're actually doing it, you're constantly referring back and forth between the key and the journal page. And I don't know, it becomes a bit of a mess really. And it's also hard to pick up the journal and at a glance, see exactly what is meant by the journal entry, unless you already memorized the keys and then you know what it means. It's kind of a question of, is it really worth spending all that time and effort to memorize this set of keys if you're only going to do it for a week anyway. If you're someone who journals regularly, then maybe, you know, it's a good idea, but this is just my opinion. 